rainy day. getting ready to do just like a little yoga I'm really focused on setting my intentions this morning choosing happy like this set and just setting myself up for a successful day i think this is going to be a new routine of mine to get up make a coffee journal read and then get up and get some kind of movement in whether it just be a yoga a stretch a walk or a jog and just like start your day right so let's do some yoga good to get a stretch in to tell you guys the truth i probably haven't stretched in months probably like april or may back in quarantine which is crazy spike did not enjoy me doing yoga he was scared every time i took a deep breath in and out he would like panic and scurry over to me and then he ended up laying on me laying under me doing yoga with an, a nervous nelly dog is a little difficult I just finished up my coffee. I had Emma Chamberlain's social dog blend in the cold brew. And then I made some vanilla sweet cream cold foam with some cinnamon on top out of almond milk. I washed my hair last night and then let it air dry while I slept, so. It's got some weird bumps and curves in it, but I think I'm gonna leave it. Let it be natural. You guys know the drill. I go around and open all of the blinds especially on a rainy day it just feels so cozy and i want to check the front door i've got some cool amazon stuff coming today nothing yet breakfast this morning is an omelet there's one egg two egg whites a turkey sausage link and some red onion and then salt pepper and my favorite blue agave sriracha hot sauce a piece of gluten-free toast and some water. I'm getting some meal prep done for the week. So I'm starting some hard-boiled eggs because we're doing like a salad kind of thing one night and we want to have some hard-boiled eggs in our salad. And then I'm going to prep these baby carrots for a snack and this cucumber for a snack with hummus. And then we have a bunch of Brussels sprouts to do with chicken one night. And then all of these peppers because we're going to be doing a stuffed pepper recipe.
headed out to the library because I've got some books I need to return, but the library is actually closed right now, so I'm not gonna be able to get a new book, which makes me kind of sad, but that's okay. I can like find something to read online or whatever. But I wanted to say, because we put our recycling out last night and it's um, bulk week, so like you can have stuff outside of your cans and they'll still take it. So we had a whole bunch of boxes out because Obviously from Christmas we had like all these boxes and stuff and this morning I heard like some noise out in the front yard So I wanted to take a look at it and see what it was I thought maybe like an Amazon package was showing up or any or something like that And it was this lady she was going through people's recycling that they had sitting outside of their cans which like Kind of makes sense like I guess if you need boxes or whatever because you're moving or something and you don't want to buy boxes It makes sense to like take people's that are free But at the same time I feel kind of weird because now she has boxes That have my name and my address and that makes me uncomfortable and she probably has no like ill intention To do anything with that information She probably just genuinely needed boxes because I saw her go through my boxes and my neighbor's boxes but I still think it's kind of like weird. Like, am I being paranoid or is that weird? Because I feel like that's kind of weird that you now have multiple boxes with my name or Zachary's name and our full address on there. And you can see what we bought, which maybe isn't important, but that just feels kind of off to me. I'm at Target. I dropped my books off and realized I'm across the street from Target and I figured I would just stop in. I don't have anything I'm like looking to buy, but I do want to take a look at some of the kitchen stuff. Um, like for organizing, just in case they have some stuff here that's like a better deal than Amazon before I go crazy ordering everything. So I'm looking for something just like this for my coffee station to put my coffee syrups in. And I love this, but I don't want the green tin. I want just like a clear glass bottle. And then I want some kind of cover on it like this so that when I'm not using it, it's like covered and won't dry out. But I have not been able to find anything besides like this, like this would be okay, but they only have one and that's $10. And the ones I found online were at least cheaper than that. I'm back home and I got something from Target. You can't leave Target without buying something, it's impossible. Um, and then I have a bunch of stuff that got delivered from Amazon that I want to share because it's for our kitchen and our coffee stand and I'm truly excited. So first I'll start with what I got at Target. I got this really pretty oil diffuser. I used to have a diffuser and I didn't use it enough so I donated it. And I feel like I do that a lot where I don't use something so I get rid of it and then I realize I want it again. So I bought this one. I'm probably going to set it somewhere on the coffee stand. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, but I thought it was really like neutral and pretty. And then onto all of the Amazon stuff. This is like a metal organizer, I guess. So we're gonna slide this into our cabinet and put like our cookie sheets, pizza pans, stuff like that in here. So you can easily access them instead of them like stacking on top of each other and having to like undo the stack and all of that. Then I got these drawer dividers, which you probably can't really tell what they are. Oh, here you go. Um, so they look like this and I'll show you them once I organize the drawers because I am going to be doing that today But it's basically just to like keep more organization and then this I can't really show you because we have to build it But it's going to be a cute Little like rack stand thing that we're gonna put up Above the coffee bar so we can put more stuff on there and not like have every single thing sitting out on the bar We'll have stuff like mounted to the wall to make more space and make it look more put together Then this is a splurge But we got a Coffee grinder So you guys know I've been buying cold brew coffee browns for like ever since quarantine started in March They've been great but Zachary's getting into coffee now and of course like it's gonna taste the best with like the bean right in front of you You ground it and drink it right away. So we went ahead and got a coffee grinder So Zachary's a hot coffee kind of guy So he will be grinding up just enough grounds in the morning to make a cup of hot coffee And then I actually just ordered a bunch of Emma Chamberlain's whole coffee beans And I will be grinding her beans into like the thick cores so I can still use them for cold brew so I'm really excited like we're gonna have like 
top-notch quality coffee like it really doesn't get better than that when you buy like high quality beans grind them yourself cold brew them yourself i'm super pumped about that so we are definitely upgrading our coffee life the one thing i like absolutely needed to get i'm gonna move you guys over here because i just feel like more stable this stuff right here i have just been dying to have and i talked about it in a previous video but it's finally here this is a spice jar spice rack set so i believe there's 30 of these but i got these glass jars they have twisty lids and then i have all of these little guys in there so you can easily like sprinkle them out and then i bought this like a drawer shelf so it's gonna sit in the drawer like this so that you can stack the spices on there and be able to like see everything perfectly because i didn't like the labels that came with the spice jars i mean they're nice but i'm more of like a white minimalist type of gal i'm not into like the black labels so I bought these ones. So these are a hundred, a hundred printed herbs um, and some blank ones too. So look how cute these are. And I'm hoping that it has like everything that I need. Uh, I'm just really excited. Like even Old Bay seasoning, like this is gonna be so good. Everything is gonna look so nice and put together. this little essential oil kit from my mom because they're all like holiday ones that we use to play a game so i'm gonna use one of them and i think i'm gonna use peppermint that sounds like it might be good yeah Oh my god, it smells so good already. And I can change the light on it. Dim. Dimmer. Oh. oh, so nice. So I have all of the spice jars and lids soaking right now in soapy water. So I'm going to start on the drawer, I, the drawer dividers. And they're too small for my drawers. They, here, if I push it all the way to the back. Ew, there's a hair gross perks of having a dog but if i push it all the way back there's still like this much space so it like isn't going to be held steady and even if i wanted to do it this way there's still too much space so then i thought what if i do it in these drawers instead and they're just as deep this way but they're shorter this way and they're too short because this wouldn't even fit. So I'm gonna be returning these and hopefully being able to find some others. Okay, this looks so good. I used that metal rack divider and have my pizza pans, all of my cookie sheets, my cookie cooling rack, my foldable strainer, and then a I don't know what you call that. I literally just use it to warm up tortillas, <laughs> but I have all of that there. And then I still have this back shelf here, which I'm so thankful for right now because I think I'm going to be able to just take these. I think we'll be able to just grab them easy enough. And then they're, they shouldn't be in the way because even if I need like this pan, I, the only thing is I don't like these are, I don't like how these are stacked inside of each other, but I can't prevent that at the moment maybe eventually but right now i don't think we even have the cabinet space to get another one of these unless i stuck another one up there i don't know how the sizing would work but okay here we go they're all cleaned washed and dried so this is our before i just hate looking at it and i can't wait for it to look good so this is our before get a good look 
because we are going to transform. Now I am going from this cabinet into this drawer, but y'all just wait and see. I'm so excited. It's gonna look fantastic. Let's get going. Okay, so this is what the spices are looking like after basically I couldn't empty these all out into the containers because they were like too small so this will be here for a while but they're just gonna be like the backup refills but look at this it's so perfect and then these are like basically pre-made seasonings that don't have a label or anything but we had the perfect amount anyways so these will just sit there. I forgot to end off the vlog last night, so figured I would show you my morning coffee since we're here. So, the first thing I do is I get my whatever like syrup sugar flavoring I want on the bottom. So this morning I'm doing a little bit of caramel and then I fill it with ice. And then I'm going to be using my cold brew and fill that up. Then I'm leaving space at the top because we are going to make some vanilla cream cold foam. For our cold foam, we're gonna do a dash of vanilla bean. And you could really do like any flavor that you want, but I just want vanilla. And then we're gonna be doing almond milk, kind of just like right below the minimum line. And I'm gonna do a little splash of heavy whipping cream on there. I try to stay away from dairy, but if you are trying to make a cold foam, you kind of need something thick like this. So I just do a little splash, and then we do the cold foam. Then I'm gonna put some cinnamon. Perfect. And there you go. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs and basically do the exact same morning routine that I showed you from yesterday. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.